this young man. On. This young man is my hero. He is my hero. My hero. What's going on? What are you All doing? Right. Are you, so I just hooked up Arnold with some pawpaw seeds, and he's also coincidentally, serendipitously, going to also pick up some pawpaw trees and he's gonna plant them in pots and he's gonna have them at his beautiful home with all his other few fruit trees. He's got some figs, some other beautiful things. We should plant him. a million of them in this area. We should plant a, a mil million of them. We're all gonna eat pawpaw seeds, we're gonna collect the seeds, yes. we're gonna dump them in the rivers yes. and then they're just gonna spread wow. everywhere. That's the goal. That's yes. the goal. That's my goal. Yes, that's part of my that's legacy. Like I wanna, I wanna that's be able goal. to. That's, your, that's my goal now. Yeah, I we have a, a similar goal. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. So. What about that? You think we have a similar goal? <laughs> sure. See some pawpaw seeds. What are they? Yeah. So we so want to. Tell me about pawpaw a little bit. A little bit about pawpaws. I mean, it's one of Ohio's native fruit trees that grows underneath the canopy, and it's oh. one of uh, Nona fruit, so it's uh, related to soursop, guanabanas, the biriba, the uh, rolinia, and the custard apples and sort of things. So it's like ooshy gooshy kind of like custardy apple, kind of uh, cherimoya good stuff. And uh, they grow in Ohio, and there's a short season. It's usually in September, and they got a lot of pawpaws, and they taste amazing. It's and like they're a, native yeah. to, to this cold weather. They're wow. native to this cold weather. Wow. That's pretty wow. exciting. Heck yeah. I'm super excited. I'm excited too. I'm like yeah. super excited. <laughs> I'm like beyond, I feel like I found gold. Yeah. I feel found gold. We, like I, we struck gold in Ohio. If we have tropical at, fruits in, in Ohio, come wow. on. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing in Pennsylvania. Yeah. I'm gonna get these seeds and put it, what do you, what do you, what do you do? Explain what you do. What do I do? Put them, like Johnny Appleseed. Your name is Brandon Pawpaw. Yeah. Ah, so my name is Brandon Pawpaw. My, <laughs> why I'm here is pretty much my story with Crohn's disease. I had a colon resection surgery, so oh I seeked uh, uh, natural healing, and now I want to spread that message to others. So part of that, my you legacy like is... You had Crohn's. Yes, what Crohn's. So like Crohn's I, and colitis disease. Yeah, colitis. Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis um, yeah. So my intestines connected to my bladder and I was peeing out fecal matter for oh six gosh. months and oh then I had a gosh. surgery and then I was left to figure everything out and uh, really led me to beautiful places. So I went through a lot of pain and suffering but it connected me with a beautiful tribe and I love it, it's beautiful. So you, have, you, had, the surgery, you had the surgery, that's because you were constipated or? I had a surgery because my intestines did connect to my bladder and there was so much inflammation in my intestines that no food could even pass through so I didn't know any better. I was in so much pain uh, at uh, 22 years old so I had uh, I went with the surgery. I felt like I had no choice and I was just scared and sick and in pain so that was I started out with the surgery, but I feel like that was my birth into finding a lot of other natural healing and just like a beautiful spiritual community as well. So it was really a blessing in disguise. I really don't take any of that back, any of that pain or suffering. And what made you think you had that ulcerative colitis? You were a meat eater, standard meat eater? Yeah, 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 yeah. Standard American diet. And um, yeah, having a lot of... Uh, just belly issues because I was having a lot of like uh, emotional issues too and that like reflected on my gut too. I was very, I was a very sensitive little, little guy. <laughs> then you went to surgery. How did you find about uh, fruit? Uh, well, I mean, I just slowly refined my diet and just little by little and I just needed more answers. I felt like I had to go deeper. You go to David Klein? I went to David Klein, yeah, but it took me a few years yeah. uh, to even transition into yeah. veganism, yeah. let alone like refine veganism yeah. and clean that up and find David Klein and get on more uh, like a fruit diet. You're mostly fruit then? Yes. All fruit? Um, not right now. This is actually the most like cooked food I've ever eaten in the last four years. Yeah. I've been on fruit for the last four years, but the last few months yeah. I've been eating like cooked food in the evenings, which it actually can not cause a ton of pain in me, so I feel like I've made like a lot of like progress. Just even being able to like eat cooked food, because you know how I, that makes yeah. everybody yeah. feel yeah. sometimes. So I feel like I have a lot more gut resilience in that way. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm totally fine with it eating that way too. I feel like it balances me a lot right. more yeah. in life to for the moment. But I always know fruit is the, what makes me feel the best. 
cleans me out the most. And, and that's why uh, we're planting a million pawpaw trees. That's why we're going to plant million a million pawpaw a million trees. <laughs> and the water so people can eat fruit all day long. And y'all are going to help us. Okay, hear that? Bye. Peace. Can they find you on somewhere? Yes, so on my Instagram and YouTube and Facebook, I am gut back to nature. So like, get back to nature, but like, gut. So G-U-T, like gut belly. So gut back to nature. Okay, bye. Peace.